Just like with our horizontal alignment, profiles have design requirements as well. I've pasted the local design requirements into this drawing and I'm going to create some profile design checks. The process is almost exactly like we did for our horizontal alignments. On the settings tab of Prospector, under profile, design checks, we have the option to create a line or a curve design check. I'm going to create a new line design check and call it maximum grade. And for the expression, using the information that I've pasted in, I'm going to select tangent grade is less than or equal to 0 0.07 and this is 7%. Uh, so I'm going to click OK and now that design check is created and I'm going to move on to my curves. The number one difference between vertical curves versus horizontal curves is that for vertical curves, I have two different types of check, one for a, uh, for a sag curve and one for a crest curve. The requirements are typically going to be different for these. So I'll need to create two design checks and it's going to check and see if this is a, uh, a sag or a crest curve before it checks for the design requirements. So I'm going to call it crest, minimum vertical curve crest, and the expression is going to be profile curve radius is greater than or equal to 3,000 meters, and I need to change that to less than or equal to. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select OK. That was for my crest curve values, and down here I have my sag curve values. I'll go ahead and uh, just create another one the exact same way. I'll call it minimum vertical curve sag. And it's important to name these in a way that you can differentiate between sag and crest, uh, as you'll see in just a second. Uh, so my profile curve radius is going to be less than or equal to 6,000 meters. Next, I'm going to create a design check set from the design checks we just created. I'll give it a name. Let's call it Design Profile uh, Check. And under the design checks, I'm going to select uh, Line is Maximum Grade. And then for curve, I'm going to select my crest and my sag and go ahead and add both of them. And you'll see below that you can apply these curve checks to either crest and sag curves, crest only or sag only. So luckily I have them named in a way that I can recognize. And now I've created my design check set. 